Okay, in this video, I will solve three more questions regarding GMAT. Let's jump to the first one. Uh, here we have that in the figure above, if F is a point on the line that bisects angle ACD and the measurement of angle DCF is X degrees, which of the following is true of X? Firstly, note that the angle ACD, it's a right angle. It's a 90 degree angle. And once the question told that this line bisects this 90 degree angle, this line is split the angle into equal parts. So each part needs to be equal 45 degrees. Now note that the angle X combine it with the 45 degrees, they will be equal the straight angle 180 degrees. In other words, X and 45 degrees they are supplementary angles. X is the supplement of 45. So X plus 45, it will be equal 180 degrees. So X will be 180. I will send this 45 to the right side of the equation. It will become minus 45, 180 minus 45. It's equal 135. So X, it's 135 degrees. So it's between 130 and 140. So letter E will be the answer of the first one. Let's go to the second question. I will paste here. And in the second question, we need to find out which pairs of numbers here in this question are reciprocals. Okay, remember that two numbers are reciprocals if the product of the numbers is equal one. So if we take three and one third firstly and multiply those numbers three times one third, three it's the same as three over one. If we need to multiply fractions, we just need to multiply numerator by numerator, three times one, it will be three. And denominator times the denominator, one times three, it will be three again. Three over three will be one. So the first pair of numbers indeed are reciprocals. Okay, in the second part, we have one over 17 and minus one over 17. Look, if we multiply those guys here, one over 17 times, minus 1 over 17. We have 1 times minus 1, it will be minus 1, and 17 times 17, it will be 289. This is far from 1, okay? Actually, totally different of 1, so those guys, they are not reciprocals. And lastly, uh, we need to check if square root of 3 and square root of 3 over 3, if they are reciprocals or not. At first glance, they don't look like reciprocals, but actually they are See, uh, what I mean by that, if you consider square root of 3 and multiply by square root of 3 over 3, remember that this is square root of 3, it's the same as the number over 1. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, it will be square root of 9. 1 times 3, it will be 3. Square root of 9, it will be 3 because 3 to the power of 2, it's 9. Over 3 and 3 over 3 will be 1. So as I told you, they are reciprocals. So 1 and 3 are true. So letter D will be the answer. And let's jump to the last question from this video. In this one, told that we have a rope of 20.6 meter long. And the rope will be cut it in two pieces. If the length of one piece of rope is 2.8 meters shorter than the length of the other, what is the length in meters of the longer piece of rope? Okay, I will cut this rope in two equal pieces, and one is 2.8 meters shorter than the another one. I will call one X because I don't know the measurement. I can call the letter I want, so I will just call X. And the another one that is 2.8 meters shorter, it will be x minus 2.8. And if we combine the two pieces, it will be the whole rope. So if you combine x plus x minus 2.8, it will be 20.6. So look, x plus x here, it will be equal to x minus 2.8. And this will be equal 20.6. 
this minus uh, 2.8, if you send this number to the right side of the equation, you will have 20.6 plus 2.8. If you intend to sum those numbers, I suggest you to align the points in order to avoid mistakes. So if you leave the points aligned, so you will get the right answer. And let's do this 6 plus 8, it will be 14. 1 plus 0, it will be 1 plus 2, it will be 3. If you want to fill the blank space with 0, you can do. And 2 plus 0, it will be 2. Once the points are aligned, it's easy to see the proper place to put the point. So 23.4, it's the sum of those two guys here. So we have 2x being equal 23.4. We need to leave the variable x alone. In order to do that, I need to send this two to the right side of the equation. This two will do the opposite. This two is multiplying the x. The opposite of the multiplication, it's the division. So this two will be in the denominator here, dividing the 23.4. We just need to consider 23.4 divided by two. So let's do this step by step. Firstly, I will just focus my attention in the 2. 2 divided by 2, it will be equal 1. 1 times 2, it will be 2. And 2 minus 2, it will be 0. This 0, I will combine with 3. 0 and 3, it will be just 3. 3 divided by 2, it will be 1. 1 times 2, it will be 2. 3 minus 2, it will be 1. This 1, I will put here in the upper part. This one I will combine with 4. 1 and 4, it will become 14. 14 divided by 2, it will be 7. 2 times 7, it's 14. 14 minus 14, it will be 0. Once the rest, it's 0, we can stop. I will just put the point in the correct place. So x will be 11.7 meters. And look, the question asks us the longer piece. So once x it's 11.7, this one will be, uh, it will be less than this piece here. This 11.7 indeed will be the longer piece because this one will be 11.7 minus 2.8. So 11.7, that will be the value of x will be the answer. The answer will be letter E. So this is the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next ones. Bye bye.